By choosing Kayani either as a supplemental business or a new career, you have shown yourself to be a leader. Someone who isn't happy with mediocrity and status quo. Someone who knows there is a better way and you've just discovered it. Congratulations and welcome. You've joined an industry with over 20 million distributors around the world who will do in the neighborhood of $100 billion this year. As predicted more than a decade ago, network marketing has truly emerged as the new paradigm of personal and business development. The purpose of this booklet is to get you started in the easiest, most effective manner possible. You will avoid some of the common pitfalls and discover some things that will accelerate your journey to success in your Kayani business. This booklet is designed to go along with the Getting Started audio from the Team Conqueror phone app. If you follow along with the audio, writing in this booklet as you go, you'll get the most out of both resources and achieve the maximum retention. This Getting Started training ideally should be done with your sponsor. This meeting will help your sponsor understand what you hope to achieve in your business and provide you a chance to develop a close working relationship with your sponsor. Afterward, you can replay the Getting Started audio as many times as necessary so you can duplicate this process with those you sponsor. Please take your business seriously. Just because you haven't invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into your business doesn't mean that you can't earn an income greater than that of many of the top entrepreneurs in this country. If you run your business like a hobby, you'll get a hobby income. Run it like a business, you'll earn a big business income. Don't talk to anyone about your new business yet. The time for that will come soon. However, your sponsor is committed to helping you with your first presentations. It's better if you don't try to explain your new business until after you have some trainings and help from your sponsorship line. For now, just write the name and phone number of anyone you want to talk to in the space provided in this booklet. There are several things necessary for your success in Kayani, but of greater interest are some of the things people think they need but actually don't. Here are some of the things you may believe are necessary for your success but actually prevent you from reaching. The five things you don't need to be successful in your dream life project business. Number one, credentials or degrees. Thousands of people have been successful in Kayani without the benefit of college degrees and the like. Personally, my mentor is a high school dropout. Since Kayani is so unlike other businesses, the rules here are different. It's quite possible, actually quite common, to build a large successful organization without having any credentials or degrees. An argument can almost be made against having diplomas in this business for people may feel that because their sponsor has an advanced business degree, they need one too. This is unduplicable and entirely unnecessary. If you and your sponsor has a degree, then great! It's just not necessary for success in your dream life project. Approval of anyone except yourself. Sometimes even your spouse may not approve your Kayani business. This is actually a frequent initial response. But we've seen thousands of people who have built huge businesses without the help of their spouse. And of course, after that, the spouse usually comes on board enthusiastically and things really take off. One of the hardest facts of business to face is that not everybody is ready for success or is as enlightened as you. Don't be at all surprised to find that some of your closest friends and family members will ridicule you, not join your organization, or not even listen to a presentation. Question your sanity. Ask why someone with a real job would mess around with one of those multi-level deals, or all of the above. Then they will feel obligated to regale you with horror stories of people who got a horrible rash just drinking that stuff or have a garage full of that stuff they can't get rid of. It's best to give these well-meaning souls a wry smile. 
thank them for their input and get away from them as quickly as possible. Number three, friends and family in your network. Now, please don't misunderstand. If you get them in your group, then great. I know families with three generations in their network marketing business and it's a beautiful thing to behold. Other times, the hardest presentation you ever give might be to a family member or your best friend. Sometimes you just can't be a prophet in your own hometown. Their excelling is full of individuals who have built networks in the thousands without having a single member of their family or so-called best friends in their group. I know because I'm one of them. Number four, cheap advice. Oftentimes, a new distributor will get involved with network marketing and get all kinds of well-meaning advice from friends who have never built a network marketing business. So, if you want to know how to fly airplanes, you must get advice from an expert pilot. If you want to build a Kayani business, look at your sponsorship line and find someone who has already built a large network. Those are the people to seek out for advice. Number five, perfection. The perfect company, product line, or compensation plan hasn't been invented yet. Like everything in nature, it must evolve. Your job is to look at the whole picture. And if the pluses outweigh the minuses, get started. If you sit around waiting for perfection, you'll be waiting forever. Don't make the mistake many novices make, which is to think that they can't do anything until they have tried every single product, read every scrap of literature, and completely understood every minute detail of the compensation plan. The important thing is to get started and learn as you go. Now, we're done with the things that you don't need to be successful in network marketing. Let's talk about the three things you need to be successful in your dream life project. Number one, desire. A desire to really do this and get out of the rat race forever. If you really understand this business and have the true desire to help yourself and others, you're already 90% there. Most people are happy with the way things are. People who desire better are the ones who change the world. Number two, enthusiasm. I can't begin to tell you how many times I have seen brand new distributors with no training, no experience, and no in-depth knowledge go out and build their Kayani business of 20 or 30 people in their first month. They don't do this with skill or knowledge or technique. They just muscle it through with sheer unadulterated enthusiasm. My advice, approach this adventure with excitement it deserves. Don't attempt it. Jump in it. Roll up your sleeves. Make up your mind and just do it. Number three, action. If you're waiting for the perfect plan, the perfect plan is to take action. You have to get started. Will you make mistakes? Of course you will. But we're not brain surgeons here. Nobody's going to die. Mistakes are part of the learning process and strengthen you for the long term. This booklet, the accompanying audio, and your sponsorship line will make sure you don't make any major mistakes which will harm your business. So relax and don't be afraid to move ahead. Knowledge without action is only a potential for power. You've got the knowledge you need. You've shown your wisdom by becoming part of the team. Now, let's get started.